Hey guys, welcome back to Tay Garage. My name is Frank and I'll be the man behind the camera. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to do most probably the best looking light mod on a 2010 Volvo XC70 T6. Before the video starts, make sure you like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from Tay Garage. Okay, okay, I know you guys might be wondering now, Frank, what do you mean the best looking light mod on an XC70? Well, it has to be on a pre facelift XC70 for one major, major reason. Let me take my key out and show you guys what I'm talking about. When the XC70 is lit up on the pre facelift models, only this portion of the taillights, which I believe are LEDs, correct me if I'm wrong, light up. On the facelift models, these also light up. The only difference in between this one and the facelift is a little module which is situated inside of the trunk area. So you guys see right now, the main point of interest is the lights. Now you're gonna be like, Frank, what difference does it make? It makes a whole lot of difference. You guys will see in the end, visually, I'll just turn these back on, visually, when you're driving down the road, it looks so much better, it's so much more full in the rear end instead of just having those little kind of like half moons. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. All right guys, so step number one is going to be looking in the link that I'm gonna leave in the description and purchasing one of these little kits. So this is basically the adapter that enables you, allows you, I should say, to connect the bottom part of the taillight to the top. It's kind of weird to explain, but this little module right here just creates a connection for when the bottom lights are on that the top lights will also be on, but at the same intensity. This is what we're going to have to try out today because, well, we'll have to see if this actually does it at the same intensity. Should. Um, that's what they claim on the website. So, I'll leave the link down below. This is pretty much very easy. You're going to need a pry tool and you're also going to need a Torx. Not sure if it's a 20, 25, or 30. I'll let you guys know right after. So. What you want to do, first off, you want to lift off this little part of weatherproofing and then very so slightly just move around and get the clips off. There is a couple of clips, of course. You guys will hear them pop. It is a little hard to get them off, but you guys will get to it. There we go. And there are also these little metal pins that you don't want to be losing. Super, super important. Let's see, this one here didn't come off. And then we'll do the rear side. I know guys, the noise that it makes is not the greatest noise. It sounds like you're breaking stuff. If these pins fall out, make sure you capture them and put them back in. Um, it does happen that it falls off sometimes, but see in my case, I'm lucky only one of them fell off. Up to now, I should say. Okay, I think I have one left here in the middle. And then, one more right here, am I correct? I am ripping all the skin off from my fingers, but yeah, I'll get the last one here off. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you guys after how it looks like. All right, reason why it wasn't coming off is I forgot that you have to remove the light first. See, I told you guys to remove the light, but I didn't do it myself, so. It's an eight millimeter bolt. You have to remove the light. You could use a pry tool, you could use your fingers. Whatever you feel like is gonna hurt you the most. Be careful not to lose the eight mil, by the way. This would be so much easier if I had an electric ratchet with me. I am unfortunately not next to my tools, so. We'll use the uh, loosey-goosey method to loosen it. Make sure you hold it so it doesn't fall on your head, guys. Because uh, if you do like me and you loosen everything, well, you take the clips off of everything, There's a very good chance that it just falls onto you. There we go. So, I lost one clip, nice. The only clip which I lost is the 
far left one, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna put it back in just like that. So put that to the side. And now it's time for the fun stuff. So it's a little bit complicated, pretty easy. There is going to be, let's see, raise the luminosity up a little bit. There we go, focus on this right here. There we go. There's gonna be a module with a red button to the left. All right, what you wanna do is loosen that module out by pulling down on it. It's connected with two pins. Again, it's probably gonna be a little hard to pull out. I don't wanna break it, so I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out off of camera so I don't have to rush for time. But the red connector on the left side here is the one you wanna remove. And then I'll show you guys where to put the um, little wires that come in the kit. All right, guys, so let me show you here how it looks like. So, I don't know if you guys can see properly. Let's see here. It's kind of hard to show guys, but there are a couple of pins. So when you take this connector out, right, you have this part right here, which goes to the top of the roof, which by the way, I broke a clip. It's not a clip that you pull guys. It's just a, uh, it's pretty much a slide pin. So this is how it's gonna go in. You wanna flip it around. And when you're looking down on it, starting from the right, the bottom one is the second one from the right. The top one is the third one from the right. Pretty simple. Make sure the clip that goes to the roof faces down, look towards you. And then you just have to push the little nodes in, make sure that they're nice and secure. I'm just gonna zoom out so you guys can see a little bit better. They do give you some tie wraps in the kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some tie wraps to make sure everything is secure. I'm just gonna tie wrap. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna tie wrap these all together. I'm not sure here. Yeah, I'm gonna tie wrap these all together here. Just so that those two new ones that I put don't move out of the way. So that these are well put in. And then I'll probably end up putting a tie wrap on top just to hold this all together with the unit that goes right here. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, take it off, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I ended up putting the tie wrap on a cable that was running through the back just because uh, the tie wraps that they gave in the kit. Why is it so unfocused? Holy. All right, um, I don't know if you guys could see it. Right to the side here is where I tie wrapped it. Um, we'll see if it holds. If it doesn't hold, then I'll have to find another solution. But I tie wrapped basically the two wires to the connecting wires so those don't move out. And I tie wrap that there just so that it doesn't go running around in the trunk moving, which could result in that coming off. So just go ahead and time that one last time. Make sure the connections are nice and clear. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna put back the panel. We're gonna connect the light, the light source back in and then we'll plug everything. I made sure everything works right away, of course, before closing everything, but I'll give you guys a look of how it looks after. So we'll see you guys once you're off the tripod. All right, guys, so everything's installed. I hope it's not gonna come off. I don't think it will by the way I tighten everything. It's kind of hard, um, cause you, you just have to slide them in. I don't know, the way it's made maybe can get improved, but uh, just a little teaser before we show you guys the final result. But when all is said and done I need you, I need you Just tell me where to run A life without you may as well Hand me the gun Ooh, no, no, no And I try to, I try to Date them other dudes The perfect, the perfect Till I look at you They give me everything and still It ain't enough Alrighty guys, what do you think of the final result? It looks honestly incredible. I haven't seen it at night yet because I am pre-recording. We just finished the install and oh man, when you use the light up mode, God, it looks so much more mean now. It, it, before it looked kind of like just regular tail lights, but now with the top part that lights up as well. And when you break, it gets lighter, you know, it gets brighter 
which is a very, very good thing because, well, that's kind of what those lights were meant to do. Um, but I'll try to see. I, I don't have anybody to film with me, unfortunately, just to show you guys what it looks like when you press on the brakes. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the final result. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from Tank Garage. See you, boys.